Ever wondered why we get headaches? It's a question that's likely crossed your mind, especially in the throes of an especially throbbing one. Headaches, those unwelcome intruders that interrupt our day, are a common ailment that we all experience at some point. Whether it's a dull ache that lingers at the back of your head, or a sharp pain that feels like a drumbeat in your skull, headaches come in all shapes and sizes. And just as there are different types of headaches, there are different causes too. Some headaches are like signals, alerting us to something else that's amiss in our bodies. Others are independent entities, not symptoms, but conditions in their own right. The science of headaches is a fascinating exploration into the complexities of the human body. So, why do we get headaches? Let's delve into the science behind it. Our bodies are complex systems, and headaches are a way of telling us that something isn't quite right. Imagine your body as a finely tuned orchestra. When all the instruments or parts of the body are in harmonious balance, we feel great. But when one instrument is out of tune, it can lead to discomfort. And in this case, the discomfort is a headache. First on our list of usual suspects is dehydration. Think of your brain as a sponge. When it's well hydrated, it can perform at its best. But when it's not, it can shrink slightly, pulling away from the skull and triggering pain receptors. So the next time you're feeling a headache coming on, reach for a glass of water before anything else. Next, we have stress. Our bodies respond to stress by releasing chemicals that can cause inflammation and tension in our muscles, particularly those in the neck and head. This is like a string on a violin being wound too tight, creating a high tense note that we experience as a headache. Lack of sleep is another common cause. You know how you feel after pulling an all-nighter or jet lag? That's your body's way of telling you it needs rest. Like a tired musician, it can't perform well without proper rest. This fatigue can cause your brain to overreact to pain signals, leading to headaches. Lastly, certain medical conditions can also cause headaches. These can range from sinus infections like a trumpet blaring too loudly, to more serious conditions like brain tumors, which could be compared to a drum being hit too hard. Now this doesn't cover every possible cause of headaches. Our bodies, like a grand orchestra, are incredibly complex, and there are many factors at play. But by understanding these common causes, we're better equipped to keep our bodies in tune. Now that we understand the common causes of headaches, we can start to think about how to prevent them. So to recap what we've learned about the causes of headaches, diving deep into the science behind headaches, we've uncovered several key triggers. Dehydration, for instance, plays a pivotal role. When your body is parched, it can manifest as a throbbing pain in your head. So remember to hydrate. Then there's stress, that unwelcome guest. It tightens the muscles in your neck and scalp, setting the stage for tension headaches. Our fast-paced lives often push us into the arms of sleep deprivation, another headache culprit. Lack of quality sleep can lead to chronic headaches, making it essential to prioritize rest. Lastly, we can't overlook medical conditions. From sinus issues to migraines, various health problems can be at the root of your headaches. In essence, headaches are complex and multifaceted, influenced by a range of factors from lifestyle habits to medical conditions. Understanding the causes of headaches is the first step towards prevention and treatment. So, the next time you have a headache, remember what you've learned today. Headaches, as we've discovered, are more than just a nuisance. They're signals from your body trying to tell you something. So, let's not ignore them, but rather, let's understand and act on them. Staying hydrated is a simple yet effective step towards preventing headaches. Our bodies need water to function properly, and dehydration can often lead to headaches. So make sure you're getting those eight glasses a day. Managing stress is another crucial aspect. Deep breaths, yoga, meditation, or simply a walk in the park can help keep those stress levels in check. And don't underestimate the power of a good night's sleep. Our bodies need time to rest and rejuvenate. If you're not getting enough shut-eye, your body might just respond with a headache. If your headaches persist, don't hesitate to seek medical advice. You should never ignore persistent pain. Remember, your body is telling you something when you have a headache. Listen to it, take care of it, and stay healthy. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, like, leave your comments. I wish you all love, happiness, kindness, and a peaceful sky.